Now, this is all based on broadcast. We uh, kind of briefly mentioned it. It is a discover, offer, request, acknowledge, the DORA process. And it is important that you understand exactly how this process works. So let's break it down piece by piece. The first part is DHCP discovery. What DHCP discovery does is it goes in and it says, do I have an IP address assigned to me? No. Am I a DHCP client? Yes. So then I broadcast out to the IP address of 285.25.25.25 and the MAC address of all Fs, hey, I'm looking for a DHCP server with the destination port of port 67. This is received by every machine on that subnet and it goes to everybody's data link layer. It goes to everybody's IP layer and then up at the transport layer it says port 67. I don't have that port open and so everybody discards it except for the DHCP servers. The DHCP servers look at the, uh, the network segment that it came in on, looks into their DHCP database, their scope and range of addresses and says, do I have an IP address that I can hand to this poor machine? And if the answer is yes, we go into the second step, which is DHCP offer. DHCP offer is also broadcast back to the IP address of 285.25.25.25, but it is broadcast to the MAC address of the machine that did the initial DHCP discover. So all the other machines, they're discarding this at layer two, just this one machine absorbs it into uh, its protocol stack and it sees the DHCP offer. You may have multiple DHCP servers that are offering IP addresses. So the client picks one. Microsoft clients typically pick the very first one. But they don't own that address yet. So they broadcast back a DHCP um, request. This DHCP request, they call it lease selection in your book, but it's actually a DHCP request is broadcast out, but it identifies which IP address it would like to have. And the reason they're broadcasted out again is so that all the DHCP servers that it didn't pick knows that it doesn't want their address and they can just put it back in the pool. But again, it still doesn't own the IP address, so it's, uh, it doesn't have an IP address in the uh, source, but you do have the MAC address. Then that DHCP server will see if that address is still available and it sends a DHCP acknowledgement back to that client and now that client owns the address, it will defend the address, the DHCP server won't hand it out to anybody else, it'll defend the address and all of that. Um, during this DORA process, if the client takes too long and the request on the server times out, it could send a negative acknowledgement, a NAC. It says, sorry, too late, you can't have it. If you have a client that is requesting an address, that uh, it's expired, we're not going to give it to you, maybe we've changed all the address ranges, I will also send out a negative acknowledgement. Then the server or the client has to start the whole DORA process over again. So you can have a negative acknowledgement appear pretty much at any time. But this DORA full-blown process only happens in a couple spots. Number one, if I don't have an IP address. I just boot it up. I've never had an IP address or my IP address lease has expired. I will do the whole DORA process. But if I do have an IP address, what I can do is, is I can go through and I can just say request acknowledge. So this is uh, when a machine reboots. The machine reboots, let's say I have an eight day DHCP lease that's been assigned to me. When I reboot an hour later because my software crashed, Instead of doing the whole DORA process, I notice that I have an IP address and I'm still within the valid uh, time range. So instead of doing the entire DORA, I just do a request and the machine does an acknowledge. So anytime you reboot. What if I have a machine that never reboots? Well, this is sort of like leasing an apartment. Let's say January 1st, I lease an apartment for one year. I don't want to renew my lease December 31st because number one, the office is probably closed. And number two, I'm kind of nervous. Maybe I better have all the stuff uh, loaded in the truck just in case I decide not to renew my lease. So DHCP works the same way. Instead of waiting until the lease expires, it waits until the 50% mark. So if I have a DHCP lease that's eight days long, 
four days, if my machine is never rebooted, in four days, I'm going to go up to that server and say, hey, DHCP request, if I get the acknowledge, it renews the lease from that point. So I now have eight days. It's not adding eight days onto it. So now it's uh, 12 days and then all, no, no, no. It just cancels out the old lease, now we have eight days. So in theory, I could have the same IP address forever as long as I keep renewing. And in fact, in the DHCP standard, they say that the server should try really, 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 really hard to always give you the same IP address, if possible. If you're going to a different subnet and the IP address doesn't make sense anymore, or the lease has expired and I've given it to somebody else, that's fine. But if I'm in an active lease, it's going to try and give me the same IP address over and over and over again. But what if at that 50% mark, the server doesn't respond? I don't care. I still got time. So I'll still happily use that IP address even though the DHCP server didn't give me acknowledge because I still have lease time. So then time goes on and at 7 eighths time, I think it's like 87.5% of my lease is left, 7 eighths time, I will do another request acknowledge. Again, assuming that I have it rebooted. At 7 eighths time of my lease has, has lapsed, at 7 eighths time, I'm going to do a request acknowledge, and if I don't hear from the DHCP server, then I start getting nervous. I start wondering, is all my stuff going to need to be loaded on that particular truck because my lease is going away and I'm no longer going to be able to use this IP address? So at 7 eighths time, if that request acknowledge fails, I will do the whole DORA process. I haven't released the address yet, but I'm going to do the whole DORA process saying, is there any DHCP server out there that will allow me to get a brand new IP address? And if it does, then I just get rid of my old address and I use the new one. But I will do this about every five minutes. Dora, any servers out there? Dora, any servers out there? Dora, any servers out there? Until somebody says, yes, I, and here's your address. Or my original server says you can extend your lease. Or my lease expires. If my lease expires, eh, I can't use it. So I'll just be doing Dora, Dora, Dora. Or I will use automatic private IP addressing, APIPA where I self-configure an IP address, self-configure a subnet mask, but I don't have a default gateway, I don't have a DNS server, or you could use alternate configuration where you'd manually type it in.